Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT video practice exam for you. You're going to enjoy this. It's a new format. It's called High Low. And you will see in a moment why I'm not showing you the questions right away because I know you're used to that. And just a quick word, I want to thank you for your support of all of my Udemy courses, free and paid. They've named me the number one instructor out there thanks to your great support. And they're actually giving me a trip to San Francisco, which is great. I was planning on heading out there anyway to meet these guys. Uh, but then paying the bill is even better. And besides, most people who thought I would ever win a free trip to San Francisco would think it would have something to do with Alcatraz. But we're not going to get into that right now. But let's go ahead and head for this question. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to show you five descriptions of values on a Cisco router or switch. And every single one of them has a number, a numeric value. I want you to tell me what, what they are from highest to lowest. So we got to know all five of these, and let's go ahead and hit that right now. Value 1, the hex value 0A converted to decimal. Value 2, the hex value 100 converted to decimal. Value 3, the binary value 00010000 converted to decimal. Value 4, the number of default secure MAC addresses in port security. And finally, value 5, the privilege level that allows Telnet users to Telnet in and enter enable mode without being prompted for the enable password. If you want to pause the video for a minute and think about this, do some conversions, that's a great idea. Very quick note, uh, January 2013 when we launch our second website, it's just about ready to go. As a uh, welcoming gift, if you will, I'm going to have a new Hex workbook free for all of you, and you'll be able to download it from Amazon and several other ebook sites as well. So look out for that. Now, let's get back to these values. What is the highest value on this board? The highest value on the board is the hex value 100 converted to decimal, because you want to watch this, and I'll have plenty of exercises for you in the workbook, actually over 100 of them. When you've got three characters here in hex, the first one is your unit of ones, the second one is the unit of 16s, and the third one is the units of 256. So if we have one unit of 256 and none of the other two, it stands to reason that decimal value would indeed be 256, and that is the highest one on the board. So with your permission, I'm going to take that one off. What is the next highest value? Because we've got a couple here that are, um, that are pretty close. The next highest value is the binary value, 00010000 converted to decimal, because that has the 16-bit set to 1 and only the 16-bit, and that means the value is 16. So we'll take that off the board. Now the next one is very close to 16. And that's the privilege level, because we need to put privilege level 15. Remember that command on the VTY lines, privilege level 15? The default privilege level there is zero. But if you want your Telnet user to be able to use the VTY password and go straight into enable mode and not have to give the enable password, or you'd even have to set one, you have to set that to privilege level 15. So that was the next one. Finally, the hex, excuse me, not quite finally, but the hex value and the number of default secure MAC addresses, which one of those is highest? And that would be the hex value 0A, because when we've got two characters in our hex value, the first one is the units of 1, the second one is the units of 16. And what does that A mean? How many units of 1 do we have here? We have 10. So we will get rid of that one. And that leaves the number of default secure MAC addresses in port security, which is 1. So that's the last one. Hope you enjoyed this different kind of video practice exam. I enjoyed putting that one together for you. And as that free uh, hexadecimal workbook comes out in January 2013, along with a brand new binary book, I'll have more of those for you as well. Thanks for watching this video, and thanks as always for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.